So let's take up the trusted advisor. Amazon is behaving as an advisor for you. So if you have a S3 bucket on which you have allowed public access, Amazon will give you an alert. Boss, you have a bucket which is a security risk to your account. If you have not enabled MFA on your account, Amazon will give you an alert that enable the MFA. It is a security risk for your account. So it is advising you for certain things the trusted advisor. So the trusted advisor actually it is an online resource. Which helps you to improve the security performance and reduce the cost on your AWS resources. It gives you suggestion. If you do this, you'll be able to achieve this. If you do this, you'll be able to achieve this. It gives you suggestions. It do not applies them automatically. It will keep on giving you suggestions. It actually helps you to follow the best practices which are created by Amazon. All the accounts comes with this uh, basic trusted advisor. So there are a lot of parameters on which Amazon checks your account, but all of them doesn't comes for free to you. The kind of support plan that you are opting. You will be given the access to the trusted advisor parameters as we have studied in the beginning that we have got basic support plan for, with free tier account. But apart from that, we have got a support plan called developer business and enterprise. These are the four support plans that we have basic developer business and enterprise with basic and developer. You get only limited parameters which are checked for your account. But with business and enterprise, all the parameters are checked by Amazon. There are five categories of parameters to be checked for best practices. Cost optimization category, performance category, security, fault tolerance, and service limit. So you can get alerts from these five categories. When you are actually into, uh, you know, um, your uh, support service, let me show you that on the practical page. When you are over here, in the support, if you go to the support center, you'll be able to see that you have a basic support plan. Basic. If you want, you can change it. But I have told you not to change it just for seeing it because once you change it, the charges will be applied to your account. Even if you revert it back immediately. Just below that, you have got a personal health dashboard and a trusted advisor. So if you click on trusted advisor, You'll be able to see that there are five parameters against which your account is being checked. See cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. With the basic support plan that we are having, we are able to see these many parameters. See, all of them are open. But if you go to the cost optimization tab, all of them are logged. Nothing is being checked for your account. Why? Because the cost optimization trusted advisor recommendation for this category cost optimization category doesn't falls under the basic plan. So if your EC2 instance that you have launched, you have created a EC2 instance which is having eight cores of CPU and 16 GB of RAM and it is being underutilized. So Amazon will give you an alert that you have over provisioned a machine go and reduce it. So you can have an alert criteria yellow. The instance had 10% or less daily average utilization of the CPU. So you'll get a yellow notification for that warning message. So this is how you can get yourself idle load balances. If you're not using a load balancer and still you have created you're paying charges for it. So such things will be monitored under utilized EBS volume. You have allocated 100 GB. And only 10 out of that 100 is being used. So it will warn you such kind of alerts will be seen over here. See, these are the three different parameters. No problem detected. That means green. This is actually investigation recommended. That means something wrong is happening. Investigate and sort it out. And this is alert action recommended. Something very wrong has happened. Go and change it immediately. So this is alert. So these are three different types of notifications that you get. If you go on to this performance here also everything is logged. If you go to the security few things are open for you. 
see these many things are open and below this are logged you can read them like what is open for me if i have a s3 bucket with public permission if i have any such thing created i will get an alert in my case nothing like that is there so i am getting two green checks so these are the parameters for which your account is checked but with your basic support plan you don't get all of them let me go back again to the support center and let me show you what all is included like in my support plans that i have the developer and the basic i have only seven core checks which are available for me okay but with the business and the enterprise you have full set of checks which are available for you to be used so this is what your trusted advisor is it will not give you any uh, you know warning or uh, this thing email alert or something you have to come over here and see can i optimize the cost can i optimize the performance if some ec2 instances there is high utilization happening on them so you can plan like in last 14 days the utilization was very high more than 90% so then you can plan to upgrade it so some volumes are getting full so you can get an alert over here large number of rules in a security group so whatever you feel is you know useful for you you can see it over here security related fault tolerance related service limits related if some some service limit is being consumed by you so you'll be able to see that so that also comes under the free tier the basic support plan you are able to see them all and in fact you can download it also these alerts that you are getting so you can download them in excel if you open it then you'll be able to see the results of everything so you can create a report and can submit it to your management saying that this is my observation this is how we can work on so you can create a specific kind of like in my case nothing is there but uh, for a corporate account you'll be able to see what is where happening and how it can be improvised use of iam s3 bucket permission related issues mfa account related issues everything can be you know downloaded and created in an excel file so this is what your trusted advisor is so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands on labs job opportunities along with docker and kubernetes in aws and amazing amazing stuff so if you want to register for this free class All you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash aws sa02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now. Select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number, and click on yes, save my seat. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of page. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.